Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export any of the Vroid Studio 3D avatar and import into Unreal Engine 5 to make them become the main avatar or NPC with the fully facial expressions and VSAM mouth docking animation supports or I in Morph. So you can see this is an example. This is the Unreal Engine 5. The 3D avatar from Vroid Studio already in Unreal Engine 5 and she can move, she can jump and she already become the main avatar of the game and also she can be an NPC. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step from beginning. I'm going to close the Unreal Engine 5 and then the first thing what you are going to do is go to the first link Sorry, this is the second link. Get the VRM for you plugin for Unreal Engine 5. Right. Click into the, the second link in the video descriptions. It will automatically pop out in your browser. And you should be able to see this website. Just go and download the VRM for you for Unreal Engine 5. Once you download it, Once you download it, it will become a zip file. Alright, <clears throat> after you download it, it is a zip file. You have to extract it. And as demo, I already extract it on my desktop. It is here. So next step, I'm going to, to just open the Unreal Engine 5. Now this is the Unreal Editor, it is loading, I'm going to wait it for a while and then as demo I'm going to create a new game file, a new game project, a third person project. I'm going to name this project as Heroid03, this is just a project name. Click create, now it is creating the, pro the project and we have to wait for a while until it finish loading. Now this is the game project and the first thing what you are going to do is just close it first and then you have to go to your Unreal directory. Right. My Unreal directory is at here under the Unreal Engine directory and go to the engine plug in, it will be here, you can see VRM for you, actually you are going to open open this and copy copy the plug in, the VRM for you into this folder, right, just right click copy and right click paste at here, since I, I already paste it at here, it already have, then close it and close it, open your Unreal Engine project again, Then the Vroid03, this is the project just now. Then you have to go to the setting, plug in, and here you search for VRM. Then make sure you take this VRM for you and then click restart now. Right now, you close this. All right, then now I can just open my Vroid Studio. I'm going to to just open a random avatar here. For example, avatar sample A. Now it is loading. Once it finished loading. Then you have to ex export it, export as VRM. After you finish design and avatar, you export it as VRM. Then click export. The title, I'm going to put it as Vroid001. The creator, just put your name. 
then click export and as demo I'm going to export it on my desktop here the Droid Girl 01 DRM save now it is exporting as VRM file right now you can see the VRM file already here then you can close your Droid Studio next in your Android engine here click the content drawer under the content right click create a new folder here I'm going to name this as Droid 01 double click in and then drag in the VRM and once you drag in already you go to the advanced generate IK bones you have to take it then enable morph target normal take it click import and now you have to wait for a while until it finish imported Right now you can see it finished imported already. This is my content browser. Of course, you can always draw from here the content drawer. And then you can click dot in layouts. Right, this is my content browser. So actually, where is your skeleton mesh? Your skeleton mesh is at here, the SKB Roy girl. And now you can see. All of these are facial expression. These are facial expression. All right. So next, we are going to make this as the main avatar. But you are going to go through a few steps. First, you close it first, and then next, you close with this one. You can. You can just maximize it. Go go back to the content folder, the character, the mana queens, rigs, and you should be able to see LTG mana queen. This one. Double click in. We are going to retarget it. Right. This is the source, and then the target IK rig. You have to choose. You have to choose IK Bro Girl 01 and okay, this one. Then next what you are going to do is just click edit post and then here scroll down a little bit the the bone draw size you make it become one right now. Then next you are going to adjust adjust the bone to become the A post. First you adjust this. Wait. Before that, you change this to become 5. Then make it become 50. This bone also make it become 50. Alright, now it should be the same as this. Then next, the hand click and then 35 this one also make it become 35 right next is the leg you make this leg to open a little bit about 5 degree done so once like this already done click again edit the pose then you scroll down you can just test some of the some of the motions. For example, run, running forward. Now you can see you can run, really you can retarget it, then pause it. At this moment, everything will be okay. Close it. So next, under the content folder, content browser here, go back, go to the animations. You can see the ABP Queen. Right click it. Create retarget animations, duplicate and retarget the animation blueprint. The IK retargeter, you have to choose the RTG, sorry, RTG man mana queen. And here you have to choose your SK Vero at Girl Jewel 1. Then click retarget. 
once finished retarget, it will automatically come back to the content content here. Then what you can do is just just back to your Vero equal zero one folder, scroll down and then right click create a new folder, name this as animation. All right now, this uh, this is a subfolder of animation. You go back to the content folder first. You rename the first one. Press F two. Underscore Vroid Girl 01. Then the ABP Queen, you also need to rename it. Press F2 to rename it. Click here, underscore Vroid Girl 01. Enter. Then you are going to select everything and put it into the animation folder. Click the first one, hold the shift, click the last one. Then you drag it into the animation folder. Then move it here so that it won't occupy the space of your content folder now everything will be here you can see it already retargeted include the running the running animation etc then what can you do now if you close the content folder now you try to play you can see the default avatar of the Unreal Engine 5 is the SK Mana Queen this is the SK Queens SKM Queen simple we want to make it become become the Vroid avatar. So open the content drawer again. All right. Then go you have to go to the third person. Double click the blueprint. You can see a third person, the blueprint, third person character. Right click and duplicate it. Delete the number one, put an underscore Vroid 001. Alright. Put the name properly then you double click it double click this click the mesh click the viewport it's here the skeleton mesh you choose your sk viewport girl 01 then the animation class you have to choose the, the abp queen viewport girl 01 that is done all right once done already, or here, here you also can choose a, the ABP many Vroid Girl 01. But usually we will choose the ABP Queen. This is the default one. Then click Compile, click Save, then Close. Now this is the third person character of your Vroid Girl 01. Next. Double click in the BP third person game mode. Double click in. Change the default avatar. Change it here. The default pawn class. Change her to become the BP third person character v one Then click compile, click save, and then close it. Close everything. Now if you try to play. You can see the main avatar in this game project already become your Vroid Girl 01. And she can jump, you can control this, this girl, you can add new animation for her as well. Everything already come for play. It is really awesome. Alright, this is the main avatar. If you want to put her as an NPC, you can just go back to the content drawer again. Dot in layout. Go to the character. Go to the third person under the blueprint. You can drag her out to put it anywhere. And now this is an NPC in your game project. Right now you try try to play. You can see she already become one of the NPC in the game. And now you yourself as a player, you are the main avatar. All right. That's all for today about how to export the Vroid Studio 3D Avatar and import into Unreal Engine 5 with fully facial expression with VSAM and expression morph. Then you also can make her become the main avatar or any of the NPC in your in your Unreal Engine 5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time 
I publish a new video tutorial, you'll receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.